it's 25 cents. I know, I know, I'm not stupid. Neither am I. Hi. Got change? see a concert of his once. Oh, you luck out. I've always wanted to go. I just couldn't get anyone to take me. Oh, no, me neither. But I talked my brother into it. You know, Roger, you're really cool. So many kids have been saying that. Well, that you talk funny. But I don't think so. I think you're cute. What you doing? Uh, I'm making a, a valentine for my girlfriend. Your girlfriend? Yeah. She's real pretty. She, she has long blonde hair. She likes me a lot. I, I told her I would send her a valentine, and she gave me her address, so I'm going to send it to her. I wrote, I wrote a poem inside. Do you, you want to see it? Yeah. Valentine means love, for it is the shape of a heart that's overflowing with very warm, affectionate love. It's beautiful, honey. It's just lovely. Thank you. How old's your girlfriend? Eleven. Excuse me. Is uh, there a Roger Myers here? Because he'll be back in a minute. Can I help you? I'm Lieutenant Anderson, Los Angeles Police Department. Would you get him, please? Now, hold on just a minute. I know Roger. He hasn't robbed a bank or anything, so let's not go frightening him. Here he comes now. Are you Roger Myers? Yeah. Do you know a girl named Amy McDougal? Yeah. Uh, did you send her a uh, valentine? Did I do something wrong? Roger, what else did you send Amy? I, I sent her a valentine. Would you like to go to some place more private? The storeroom and back. Thank you. Right through there. William? When did you send her this, Roger? This is not my valentine. No, Roger, it's a letter. A nasty, dirty, pornographic letter. And it was sent through the United States mails, which makes it a federal offense. I, I don't understand what those words mean. Are, are they bad? 
Yeah, Roger, they're bad. You've been a bad boy, Roger. A very bad boy. How dare you? Would you like to sit down, Mrs. I would not. In the first place, that letter was written in script which Roger cannot write. He can only print. I mean, shouldn't you have found that out before you accused him? Mrs. Myers, could you just calm down a minute? Calm down? Calm down? Would you like to go out in the hall and see what your interrogation has done to my son and then decide whether I should calm down or not? How dare you treat him like a criminal when you, when you have no evidence? Mrs. Myers, we've got a job to do. We're doing it. The handwriting samples of all the girl's friends have been sent to the FBI's graphology division in Washington. I'm very sorry to put you through all this, but at this point, Roger is our prime suspect. Why? Because he sent her a valentine? Or is it because he's retarded? And some of you people with your Stone Age mentality still think of retarded people as latent sex maniacs. Shame on you! Honey, it's a beautiful day out. Why don't you pack up your suit and go swimming? No. You know, William's been calling you every day. He really needs your help, hon. No, he doesn't. I'm never going back there again. They all saw. Hello. Oh, yes. I see. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sure you are. Thanks for calling. Raj, that was the FBI. The letter was written by a boy who sits next to Amy in class. He's 11 years old. I mean, they were apologizing all over the place. Honey, it's all over now. You, you can go back to the Y. <laughs> well, when I was sitting in the... Oh, the police station. I, I heard you yelling. You were yelling real loud. You, you, you said the reason they were picking on me was because I was retarded. Why did you say that? Roger. Why did you say it's not true? I know I'm slow-minded. I know. But I'm not retarded. I'm not. <laughs> Am I? <sighs> Mommy, is that what's wrong with me? I'm never going to grow up to be somebody. You are somebody. You're Roger Myers. And I promise you, with, with every breath in my body, one of these days, the world is going to respect who you are. Mom, that bad boy who wrote the letter, was he retarded? He, he was perfectly normal. <laughs> Bob, I'm going to get a job. What job? You can't do anything. Up drinking. If I can do that, I can do anything. Besides, we need the money. What did the doctor say? He said there was no organic reason for Roger's depression. You told me we'll go out of the house? Yes. I said we were running out of time, money, and energy. I'm sure that broke his heart. Yes, he was very compassionate. He said we should have Roger declared incompetent in court. And he'd become a ward of the state, and we'd no longer be responsible. What did you say? I said that we were running out of money, 